Hi everyone, it's Chi-Town Tracy with Art Attack and I am here to share with you a box, a cigar box that I altered. Um, it was a black box and I didn't know what I was going to do with it because as you can see it's curved. Can you see that? I'm sorry, it's curved. I guess you could see that there. So I didn't know um, how what I was going to do. So I thought what I wanted to do is just make it look really, really old. And um, I was just going to not put any paper on it and I couldn't decide. And then I thought, well, you know how um, on some walls, um, uh, old wallpaper looks, um, not that I've ever seen a house that looked like that, but you know how you see like papers where they're just kind of, um, just really like worn away that's kind of the look I was going for like a worn water uh, wallpaper look so what I did was I put the paper down I, I well let me first off tell you about the box the box that I chalk painted and then after I chalk painted it I sanded it down with some regular sandpaper then I applied this piece of paper and this is a really pretty prima paper I don't know what collection it's from um, but look how beautiful this is. And then I also have the polka dot. So it's just a really beautiful paper line. Um, maybe, no, I don't know if it's ABC primer or something like that. Oops. It's just, um, I got it in the Primo box when I ordered the Primo box a, few, a year ago, I think. So anyway, so, um, so I put the paper down and then I tried to sand all the edges and make it look like it was just part of the wood. And you know, I'm an under embellisher. The only thing I knew I wanted to do was use a frame and I wanted to use this vintage clip earring. So that is what I did. Um, this is just a frame that I'm sorry, I can't, this is, looks dirty to me on my screen. Uh, it's a frame from, um, Michael's and, um, the, the, the picture is from the internet just a it says dear friend and it's angels so I wanted a vintage picture and I made the frame um, I, I put some chalk paint on it I put some vintage um, photo on it and then I also used um, the Viva uh, Inca gold me metallic rub I used to use these all the time I mean I have all, almost probably all the colors. I used to use them when I first started crafting. Now they're a little dried out, so I just spray them when I want to use them. So that's fine. Um, and they're great when you want to change the color of metal or add metal into this. So I used um, this gold cord that I have. I thought I had a piece on here. Just a piece of gold cord, and I put it around the frame to just make it a little more... Um, uh, I don't know, vintage looking. And then I added a pearl strand. I just cut the pearl strand to fit into the frame. And then I bought these flowers from uh, Craft Supply 1. They're really pretty. She had a special, so I bought the special. This here is um, a metal piece. Alicia used to sell metals. I don't know if she does it anymore, but this is a piece that I got from Alicia's Glitz and More. And like I said, this is a vintage clip earring and a, I just picked these beads up at Michael's this weekend. Um, they're very pretty. For the feet, I used um, these, what is it, Fennel? Fennel cap, nine pieces. Um, I just, uh, painted them, they come brown, painted them, distressed them, and glued them on with E6000. Same with this, this is E6000. I, I, I hope you guys know this, but you cannot, when you're doing some, something like this, you cannot use hot glue, because it will not stay on. So you definitely need to use E6000. And I like this E6000, the white one, because it's not as smelly as the other. So I use that, and it works really well. This is on there pretty good. Um, if it comes off, 
Oh, well, I mean, there's always, you can always glue it back on is my thing. We're crafters. So sometimes during shipping, things fall off, but I tried to glue it on really well. So that's the outside. And like I said, I don't over embellish. I like very minimal shabby. So this is to me, simple shabby. And then on the inside, um, I just put some piece, um, paper. So isn't this paper beautiful? It's very, um, shabby love the colors it's just like light green and i distressed the inside a little bit but i just kind of didn't want it and i painted some chalk paint over the paper i just wanted it to look really vintage and these are just some things that i put in there um but i do like the way it turned out i think it's very simple very pretty and these are i don't even know why i showed you because i went through my die cuts i've had these for a long time and these are very cute to use on your cards or your tags excuse me and those are um by crafty secrets i am getting a few of these in the store um but they're just fun to have they're double-sided i've had like i said i've had them for years just never use them and it, when i do use them i will i copy them first i don't i always say my original but I just wanted to do a quick share and show you that I was inspired by my um, mixed media piece. Um, I This was like the first thing that I started doing when I was crafting was altering like things like this. I love it. It's a lot of fun for me. And um, well, I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. And I will be back with what's a new um, some new stuff for Art Attack. Oh, I just got a great box of stuff. I'm excited. I just got um, a jelly, what do you call it? A jelly palette. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. Especially since I've been doing these mixed media things. So thanks for watching. Bye.